was there a certain point when your dancers stopped dancing? Overruled, you may answer. Um, yeah, they did stop dancing. Why? Um, because there was a car that drove through. We're going to put up on the screen for you uh, Exhibit 15, and with the court's permission, this has been received already. I'd ask to publish to the jury as well. Permission granted. Do you see the screen in front of you? Yes. Do you see a green box with names in it, uh, with the label Waukesha Extreme Dance underneath? Yes. Do you recognize the names in that green box? Yes. You see a black line connecting that green box to a yellow star? Yes. Can we scroll down a little bit? Do you recognize the neighborhood in this map? Um, kind of. It's downtown. Downtown Waukesha? Yeah. The yellow star that's connected to the Waukesha Extreme Dance names, is that an approximate area where <coughs> Um, you described the car hitting the girls? Yeah, right before the five points. Okay, we can take that down, thank you. I'm now gonna ask that we project onto the screen for the witness only, exhibit number 33. Let me know when you see uh, the screen in front of you. I see it. Okay. I'm going to ask you to just take as much time as you need, read all those names, and then uh, describe for me what we're looking at. Um, it's the formation that the girls were in. On the day of the parade? Yes. And does that accurately represent where each of those girls were in formation? Yes. And you've reviewed a diagram similar to this before your testimony, right? Yes. Uh, I would move Exhibit 33 into evidence and ask for permission to publish. Before I allow that, um, if you could ask her about the non-labeled boxes. Sure. Uh, you can see that there are some boxes on this diagram that don't have names in them, is that right? Correct. What do those boxes represent? Um, who wasn't injured. So, but those are people? Those are oh, yes. members of the dance group? Yes. Um, but to your knowledge, a box without a name is a person who wasn't hit? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll renew my request at this point. Objection. Um, how, how is it legal to instruct the prosecution to ask a question that they should already know to ask? Um, your objection is noted. It's overruled. Exhibit 33 is received and permission to publish is granted. Okay, can you, uh, Ms. Kajewski, can you explain for us what the colors mean in this exhibit? Um, so they're each different team. So the yellow is the elite team, the green it's the junior team, and the Blues, the mini team. And there is two teams behind that, but they didn't have a formation. And that's why only these three are on here. Okay. You testified earlier that you were marching in order of age, so the elites were in the front of the group, right? Yes. So the parade route, if we, if we were moving forward, it would be the bottom of this page. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, can we... 
project for the witness only exhibit number 32 please Go ahead. <coughs> let me know when you see something on your screen I see it okay we're gonna play just a few seconds of this to see if you recognize it Okay, we'll pause there. We played 19 seconds. Do you recognize this video? Um, not this video. Okay. Um, do you recognize the truck yes. at this point that mm -hmm. we stopped at? Yep. At 19 seconds? Yeah. What is, what's the truck? That's the truck that we had um, for Extreme. During the Christmas parade? Yes. Did you recognize uh, the people in front of the truck holding the banner? Stated she doesn't recognize the video. How is it permitted? Your objection is noted. It's overruled. She may answer the question. Could you say the question again? <clears throat> Did you recognize the two people holding the banner in front of the truck? Um, yes. Were they affiliated with your group? Yes. Let's play a few more seconds just for the witness. Pause there. Pause at 27 seconds. Did you recognize uh, the people coming into the screen from the left? Yes. Who are they? Um, our dancers. Okay. Does this video appear to be an accurate depiction of your group along the parade route on during the Waukesha Christmas Parade? Yeah. You may answer. Yes. I move to admit exhibit number 32 and ask for permission to publish. Did you sustain that objection? I didn't rule on it. Which objection? That I just objected to. Um, it was overruled. Are you making that decision now? Um, there's been a request by the state to receive Exhibit 32, Mr. Burke. I objected. All right, then your objection's noted. It's overruled. On what Exhibit. Grounds, Your Honor? Exhibit 32 is received, uh, the foundation has been laid, and permission to publish is granted. On what grounds, Your Honor? The record speaks for itself. On what grounds, Your Honor? You may play. There's no audio with this video. We're going to play from the beginning. <coughs> How long is the video for the record? It's 1 minute and 23 seconds. Thank you. Pause, please. We've paused at the 35 second mark. Ms. Kajuski, do you remember what you were wearing on your head, if, a, if anything at all, that day? Yeah, I had a bright red hat on. Do you see yourself in this, uh, at the 35 second mark of this video? Yes. Can you, that's a touch screen in front of you. Can you use your finger and circle yourself? Okay, and we can clear that, please, Madam Clerk. And we'll resume at the 35 second mark. We can take that down now. Thank you. So, Ms. Kajewski, as well, let me just clarify. Um, 
what did we see at the end of that video? Um, you, can take, you can take some time. A car going uh, through the parade. Is that the same vehicle that you remember seeing that day? Yes. Do you recall where you were standing at the point that the vehicle started to go through your girls in relation to the rest of the group? Um, yeah, in relation to the rest of the group. Um, I was on the side um, that was with all the names, but I don't remember like what stores I was by. If, if you were standing in the middle of your group, were you on the left side or the right side? Which way are you looking? If you're walking down the parade route. I'm looking towards the truck. Yep. I would be on the left side. And you were towards the front? Yes. By the elite girls? Yes. Okay. I'm now going to ask that we put up for the witness only exhibit number 34. And before we get into questions about this exhibit, I want to I'll go back and ask you about the video we just looked at, exhibit 32. After having watched that video just now in court, um, does it appear as though that diagram with the names that we looked at, Exhibit 33, does it appear as though that diagram was an accurate depiction of where the named girls were positioned at the time the SUV came into the group? Yes. I'm sorry, what's the objection? Hearsay. Overruled. So the now, yes. I believe the end. Okay. So now we'll put up Exhibit 34 for the witness, please. Uh, we're just going to play a few <laughs> seconds to see if you recognize this. Let's do a few more seconds. Okay. Do you recognize this video? Um. Not the video, but... Do you recognize images from the video? It's... Overall, you may continue answering. I turned it off for the witness. Oh. Until they can finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got the rotation figured okay. out here. We're going to play uh, five or ten seconds again for you just to see if you recognize the video. Okay. Now do you recognize the video? Yeah. What does it show? Um, the car going through and someone Line. Is that an accurate depiction of the scene as you saw it that day? Mm -hmm. saying she already stated she didn't recognize the video. Um, this characterizes her testimony. Your objection overruled. It is not hearsay. Um, you may answer. <clears throat> and you did answer. You can just repeat it. Could you? Is that, an, is that video an accurate depiction of the scene as you saw it unfold that day? Yes. Your answer may stand. Thank you. What was the answer? Yes. Move Exhibit 34 into evidence and request permission to publish. Exhibit 34 is received. Permission to publish is granted. We're going to play from the beginning. This is a 50-second clip. We're not going to play the whole thing. We're going to play from the beginning to about 12 seconds. We're going to turn the audio on. at 12 seconds. I'm going to ask that we go back to the beginning, slow it down to 30% speed.
and we've turned the audio off. We're going to watch that save 12 seconds again. Pause. And I'm going to ask Miss Gussie to go frame by frame. We paused at one second, by the way. Next frame. Next frame. One more. There. We're at a frame at two seconds. There's a figure on the bottom, on the left side of the screen, who appears to be wearing black with long hair. You recognize that person? Yes. Okay. Can you see any features? Mr. Brooks, that's argumentative. Your objection's noted. It's overruled. You may answer. Hearsay. Objection Not hearsay. hearsay. You may answer. Clear hearsay. You may answer. Yes. Who is that person we're looking at? Jessalyn. Can you use the touch screen in front of you and circle that picture? Uh, circle Jessalyn, please. I'd ask to save uh, the annotation as Exhibit 34A and to move it into evidence. The annotation has been saved. Exhibit 34A is received. Ms. Kajewski, when you say Jessalyn, are you referring to Jessalyn Torres? Yes. She was a member of your dance group? Yes, she was on the junior team. We can take that down. I'm going to ask that we play uh, Exhibit 35 just for the witness. And this is just eight seconds long, so we'll play the whole thing to see if you recognize it, okay? Okay. Do you recognize that video? Yes. What does it show? Um, the car going through. Through your dance group? Yes. Is that an accurate video depicting the events that day? Yes. Move Exhibit 35 into evidence and request permission to publish. Exhibit 35. Is received permission to publish. Granted, your objection is noted for the record. Again, this is eight seconds long. We're going to turn the audio on for this video. Objection Is the video, who, who even took the video? Is it, res is it relevant? Sir, you're, it's not an objection, it's a statement. Um, we can ask questions later. Not even a witness that took. Go ahead. So, Judge, before we begin, I have to step in here and request that Mr. Brooks be instructed to stop making comments under his breath. This witness is very clearly having an emotional and difficult time testifying, and she doesn't need to hear that. Objection. She can't hear anything I'm saying. Mr. Brooks, the mics are very good in this courtroom, so please yeah. refrain. All right, keep going. Thank you. So we will begin at the beginning of this video. We'll play the whole thing with audio. There are comments on this video. Those comments are not being offered. I would instruct the jury to disregard those in terms of the evidence. It's the video that's important. Okay. Okay. For the courtroom, actually. Exhibit 33, the diagram again. And we'd ask to publish for the jury. Go ahead. Can we zoom in on the top of the screen here? So, Ms. Kajewski, I'd like to work our way through this uh, name by name based on your recollection of what you saw during the parade that day, okay? 
So let's start with the first person on the top right, Vivian Urell. You knew Vivian Urell before November 21st, right? Yes. And do you recall seeing her uh, either while the SUV was driving through or after? Um, Jason, hearsay. It's not hearsay. Overruled. I saw her after, uh, not during, because okay. I was in the front. Can you describe the circumstances when you saw her after? Jason, hearsay. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to direct your attention to review section 908.01. You have a statute book. Please do that. It's not hearsay. Go ahead. Could you repeat the question? Can you describe the circumstances, how you saw her and where afterwards? Um, yes, yeah, she was on the opposite side of the road, uh, just like in a fetal position. Did you have any interaction with her? Yeah, I did. Um, I went uh, in a squad car with her to the hospital. Which hospital? Um, I think it's called Waukesha Memorial. Here in Waukesha? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And did you observe uh, any injuries to her? Yes, yeah, she um, had road rash on her chin. Okay. Um, I next want to ask you about Mackenzie Hollingsworth, the first top right green square there. Did you see her as the SUV was coming through? I didn't see her as the SUV. I what saw her at the hospital. Waukesha Memorial? Mm -hmm. Can you describe what she looked like? Sorry, was that a yes? You just said, mm -hmm. oh, was that a yes? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. Can you describe how she looked at the hospital? Um, yeah, she was laying on the ground, and her mom was on her left side of her, and I was on her right, and I was holding her hand trying to get her to squeeze my hand so she could like stay awake. But she was going in and out of consciousness. She would, she was asleep and then she would wake up sobbing and it would just repeat. I next want to ask you about Alice Urell. So the next green square mm -hmm. down on that diagram. Did you see her as the SUV drove through? Um, I didn't see, like, her get hit because it was just a blur, but I saw her body on the ground right after, and she's the one that, um, I, the first person I saw. Okay. And did you have any interaction with her after the fact? Yeah, I, I picked her up as soon as her body was right in front of me. I just picked her up because I didn't know what was about to happen. What did you think had happened at that point? I didn't know. I didn't know if there was going to be just a bunch of cars. So I just wanted to get her out of the way. You've already testified about Jessalyn Torres. The Jessalyn Torres who's named in a green square there, is that the same Jessalyn Torres uh, that you referenced when we watched Exhibit 34? Yes. Okay. Moving down the diagram, uh, I'll ask you about Yuresi Becerra Montes. You recognize that name? Yes. Did you see Yuresi as the SUV came through the group? I saw her after. Where did you see her? Um, behind the truck on the ground. Which truck? <clears throat> the same truck that was driving in front of all the girls. That black pickup truck? Yeah. How close to the truck was she? Um, at the tailgate. Was anybody else with her? Yeah, her. Um, I remember seeing her dad and her sister. How did she appear to you in that moment? health-wise? Just in shock. Moving down the list to Julie Schlickow. Julia Schlickow, <coughs> excuse me. Did you see Julia as the SUV was driving through the group? I didn't see her as the SUV came through. I saw her at the hospital. At Waukesha Memorial? Yes. How did she appear to you when you saw her at Waukesha Memorial? 
She wasn't good. Can you take a little bit of time and then tell us in a little bit more detail? I was with Kenzie at the time, and at Waukesha Memorial, there's a glass, like, wall window, and I saw Julia in a wheelchair uh, by herself with, like, nurses around her, and she was kind of slunged over. She was in and out of consciousness as well, and so I ran over to her and told them her name, and um, they they rushed her in the back because she was not doing well. Um, and then when we got to the back, uh, she she started seizing and and vomiting.